I'm with Sarah Watkins, one of the very important collaborating artists for the Michael Hill International Violin Competition 2015. Thank you for letting us skate crash your rehearsal, Sarah. You've had an important role with the competition over the years. You've been with them since the beginning. Could you tell us a little bit about how it has evolved in your experience? Yes, I have been playing with the competition since the first one, which is unbelievably about seven or eight competitions now. And back when Anne Rodder first approached me about being involved, we had big discussions about what possible repertoire would be included. And this included the Mozart sonatas that we used to do and the romantic sonatas, virtuoso show pieces, all those kinds of things. So we came up with quite a list back then and it's undergone some changes over the years as has the, the whole format of the competition. Um, I think a big uh, feature now is the inclusion of the chamber music round after Queenstown which is quite unusual for violin competitions. I think it happens in piano competitions. Um, now we have new additions this year of a little concert master, it's not little, a little um, salon piece uh, for the competitors to show a little bit of their stylistic nous. And we also have a concert master excerpt, which is unique. I don't know of any other competition in the world that has that inclusion. So I think the competition is really trying to reach out and, and, and just make it quite unique in, in the whole field of competitions. Um, and I think they're, they're doing wonderful, wonderful things. Thank you. Now we're here in one of your rehearsals. You've got a lot to do in the coming week. So you, you um, work with you know, half of the competitors every competition. How do you recover from your know, wind down at the end of every day? And how do you keep your energy up? Yes, it's a big um, effort that uh, Deidre Irons and myself have to go through over the course of the three days. Um, we have two fairly intensive days of rehearsing with all the competitors when we get there and that involves 90 minutes per player. We have to put together all their program. And then once the competition gets underway, it's just all focus on the competitors and what can we do to make them as comfortable as possible and really make them shine, you know, to, to put their best foot forward, which is what they want to do. We wanna just let them be free to express their music. Um, so it's, it's very intense, but it's one of the most rewarding things I do out of, you know, in, in my whole calendar of events every two years. And at the end of the day, I just go home and I take my shoes off and I put my feet up um, and try and just keep very quiet in between competitors. I don't like, you know, high energy around me too much. Um, I just want to be able to really focus and, and concentrate on the next person that I'm going to play with. And it's going to be very cold in Queenstown. Have you got some good merino gloves? Oh yes, I have, and um, a hat, and scarves, and socks. So yes, I'll I'll keep very warm. I promise. <laughs>